With the release of the new RTX 3080, people were wondering if their CPUs will bottleneck uh, this new powerful graphics card. You're seeing here, this is Crisis 3 from 2013, running on a RTX 3080, paired with an old 6700K clocked at 4.5 GHz. Now the 6700K isn't a terrible processor, but it's very old now. And this scene in Crisis 3 demonstrates pretty well what a CPU bottleneck is. So this scene right here is very CPU heavy, right? If you look in the top left, you can see that our CPU usage is higher than our GPU usage. Now generally if you see that, that automatically indicates a CPU bottleneck in gaming. You generally do not want your CPU usage to be higher than your GPU usage. As you can see, our CPU usage is around 80%, sometimes single cores can go up to 90%. This scene is extremely intense on the CPU. All cores are getting hammered, maxed out around 80 to 90%, uh, while the GPU is only at about 50%. So the GPU is only using 50% of its power because the CPU cannot keep up with the frames that the GPU is trying to give it. Now the, just, just this scene specifically is super hard on the CPU. So if I turn around, you can see the CPU doesn't have work to do now, which lets the GPU like flex its muscles for it to give a higher FPS. Now you can see I'm capped at 138 FPS is my FPS cap because of G-Sync. You can see I'm capped at that. GPU is using as much usage as it needs to cap at that. And the CPU usage is lower than what it was before. This is good. This is ideal situation. But as soon as I turn around and the CPU needs to work again, the GPU slows right down because the CPU is too slow to accommodate a fast GPU. Uh, that is an example of a CPU bottleneck.